Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today, I wanted to walk you guys through my kitchen and share a few ideas of how to affordably add some charm to your kitchen and just make it more your style or make it feel more like you. I know after Christmas, at least for myself, when I start to take everything down, I do like to have a more minimal look to my space, but no matter what season it is, I always like to feel cozy in my spaces. So I'm excited to share some of these quick and easy fixes or just style tips, starting with peg rails. If you do not have a peg rail in your kitchen, I feel like this is one of the easiest ways to add some charm to your kitchen space. You can buy these pre-made for around $10 at Walmart, stain them or paint them whatever color you would like, and then place it in an area where you might have a blank space that you can hang things at various heights. One of those ideas might be on the side of your fridge. You might have a blank wall somewhere that you can install one of these. Another popular place to hang a peg rail is beneath cabinets, so if you have upper cabinets, you might want to consider installing some beneath those or if you have any open shelving or just shelving in your kitchen. I have peg rails in three different places in my kitchen area. So we have them in our pantry, we have them over here in the breakfast nook, and then I do have a smaller one over here in this back corner. And then as far as what you are hanging or decorating your peg rails with, I like to use practical items, things that I'm actually reaching for consistently. So things like mugs, tea towels, maybe a colander. I do have these vintage scissors that, this is kind of more for decor. I do use these occasionally, but they're not like my everyday scissors, you know, my orange ones that I usually have kept away in a drawer. But as far as decorative pieces, I do like to use baskets and maybe draping greenery out of them or something, and then some kind of wood accent like a cutting board. The next one is lighting. So incorporating lamps and candles on your countertops um, or displayed somewhere in your kitchen just adds a lot of cozy charm. My favorite time in the kitchen is at night when there's no light in here besides a lamp. And again, with candles, those are another obvious way to add some cozy lighting, but I love to have them lit in here in the daytime when I am cleaning or cooking. This lamp that I have here on the ledge is a battery operated light and I love that because this way I can avoid a big long cord. So if you don't have anywhere that you could plug in a lamp, you could just go ahead and grab a battery operated lamp. The next one would take a little bit of work, but that has to do with your cabinetry. So maybe you live in a space where your cabinets are very outdated. Just simply painting them a different color can completely transform your kitchen. And if painting is not an option, I would also think about what kind of hardware do you currently have on your kitchen cabinets because that can completely throw off the look of your kitchen. For many years, we had big silver poles on all of our drawers and all of our cabinets. And as I was kind of shifting more towards cottage vibes in my kitchen, I realized quickly that stainless steel large poles are just not typically knobs you would find inside of a cottage kitchen. So as I would look at pictures on Pinterest, I noticed they typically had large wooden knobs. And so I took all of our old hardware off. I went down to Lowe's and I got these knobs for, I think they were 99 cents a piece. And then I painted them the same color as we painted our cabinets. And honestly, that one changed completely change the look of our kitchen. The next one is also something that could be a little bit pricier, um, but that is swapping out your faucet. So we just barely updated this faucet. And again, for me, I am trying to make my kitchen feel more like a cottage. And I, I think it was at Christmas time, I was taking pictures in the kitchen and I realized the faucet was really throwing off the vibe that I was going for. I didn't realize for a very long time until I saw it in one picture. And I thought, okay, it's this large black faucet that's kind of throwing the kitchen off. And so this is the new faucet that we just recently installed. Once this faucet was installed, I realized that was probably the finishing touch that it needed a year ago when we first renovated this kitchen. The faucet can totally transform the look of your space. For the longest time, I have been wanting to swap out our oven for one of those vintage ovens and they are so pricey. Anytime I've looked them up and just considered them, I'm just, I can't, because our oven works perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I love the look of our oven. I just have always, I just really want it to be a different color. So I'm not willing to spend the money when it's just cosmetic. There's no need to do that. 
So what I found was as I was searching, I actually found a vintage stove that was stainless steel, but it had the look of a vintage stove. And I realized if I was able to switch out my knobs, then it might change the entire look of my stove. So I went to Amazon and I ordered some rub and buff. The reason I wanted to use rub and buff instead of paint is because especially with stainless steel and it's something that you are going to be touching consistently rub and buff actually like rubs into the material where paint is easily chipped especially with like the oils on our hands so i decided to use the rub and buff and i love the look of the stove again i know it might sound weird mixing metals like antique gold with stainless steel but because I love the look of this one, I knew that that one little swap would completely change the look of it. So if you are anything like me and you have been thinking of ways to make your stove have that same look, I highly recommend the Rub and Buff. The next few that I wanna share have to do with using items that you consistently use and have that be how you style your kitchen starting with jars to store ingredients so just think about what are some ingredients that you're constantly reaching for flour is a big one for me especially with baking and the paper bags that flour comes in are so messy so having a jar i can set out on display makes getting it so easy but also serves as a piece of decor or a way to add some charm i also wanted to share that i have always had my eye on these bonbon jars i see them all the time on Instagram and on Pinterest. And when I saw the price of them, I think it was over $200 and it came with a set of three jars. And I found these at, at home. I will again have this linked below, but these were $20 jars. So this was a really exciting find for me because they are literally identical to the ones that you will find all over Pinterest. Another way you could do this is with spice jars. So I recently ordered these spice jars off of Amazon and I have loved having them here on display. So I have them on the shelf up above our peg rail and especially for the vibe of the kitchen that I like, you know, those old English cottages, a lot of the time they have their spices out on display in some kind of glass jar. Another purposeful item you could store on your countertops would be crocs with maybe wooden utensils and rolling pins inside of them and another item you probably will always find in a cottage styled kitchen are wooden cutting boards i have wooden cutting boards kind of all over the place in my kitchen i have one sitting on my stove i have some over my breakfast nook i have some hanging off of my peg rails if i collect anything in my kitchen it is mugs and cutting boards and i feel like i can never have enough of them a big way to add charm to your kitchen is to add in some greenery this can be real green like herbs or flowers or of course some faux stems I have greens kind of all over in the kitchen but one of the ways I like to add some greenery in here is I have this garland I keep up all year right above my window at Christmas I will swap it out with some pine but I noticed a lot of cottages have garlands similar to this on their beams so that is one way that I like to incorporate greenery in here I recently picked up this vase and these stems from Hobby Lobby um, again, both of these were from Hobby Lobby. I was trying to find the most realistic flowers I could find, and I thought these looked perfect here. Again, just displayed on this wooden cutting board that I set on my stove top. But I also love to incorporate real flowers. So anytime I can add in some real greens, or I always love white flowers in my kitchen. So I have actually had these for a few weeks now and they are still going strong. Some of them are kind of dying off. But again, I like to have little touches of greenery next to my sink or over here on my countertops. And this last one I wanted to share with you it might sound kind of silly, but it's probably one of my favorite hacks, I guess you could say. I have always had my blue Dawn soap and my blue scotch scrubber in my sink. And I realized it was, again, something that was throwing off my decor. And there is an easy fix for that. I swapped out my dish soap for some clear dish soap and I have it stored now in this really beautiful container. I got this off of Amazon. And then I swapped out my blue scrubber for this wooden one and it came with a few extra heads. Such an easy swap. Now it looks like a really beautiful display here by my sink, but it is again with practical items. I still have my dish soap out here. I have my little scrubber brush, but just by swapping those out, it added a lot more charm to this area. Anyway, that is everything for today's video. I hope that this list of items gave you some ideas of ways that you could add some charm to your kitchen, maybe cozy it up a little bit. I'd love to hear in the comments below if there's anything that you are excited to maybe swap out in your kitchen. Thank you guys again for watching. If you have not yet hit that red subscribe button, please make sure you do that and I will see you guys in the next video.